Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan coming here from the Hofdorp Experience Center today. I wanted to show you something new, something I'm really excited about, and that is a new addition to the MTR for Windows kit. Now, let me show you what I have here. So on the left side, you see here the GC8. Uh, this is the well-known 8-inch touch panel uh, coming along, which has the HDMI ingest, and it has the power on the back, and you can connect it to the compute using the fiber cable. As you can see here in the middle, this is the fiber cable that comes along with the kit, uh, 10 meters a fiber USB cable. Then we got the compute, you see here running Windows IoT, which can be a Lenovo or a Dell. So this is the default kit coming along uh, with MTR Windows, besides uh, the, the choose of the camera, which can be Studio USB, R30, E70, etc. Uh, what I'm extremely excited about is there's a lot of integrations eh, in rooms where the fiber USB eh, you're not able to integrate that easily you cannot extend that or you cannot just break that eh, and use that in integrations so what I'm really excited about is we're bringing in a new device and it is the Icron Ranger 2311 and I got that right here and you can order this from Poly is the 2311 you can use cut 5e 6 or 7 and it's an extender it's fully supported with the gc8 now so we provide an option now with this package on the gc8 and so you can use the fiber usb cable you see right here or you can switch it to the extender now let me show you what is inside that box of the extender, the 2311. Here you go. So first off, we got here the quick start guide. You can see Icon Ranger 2311, how to hook it up. So you connect just one power supply to the local or the remote extender. You got the dedicated cable, as you can see right here. But I will walk it all through. So what is inside the box? Here you go. We got here the two extenders, which are really really small as you can see so let me take it out of the package it's very small there go this is the local extender as you see right here you got that usb b on the other side you got that link this is the dedicated uh, cable between the local and the remote extender and you got a power input as so you can either use this power which comes along with the package on the local extender or the remote extender. So we put that with the compute. The next one is the remote extender. So the remote extender is usually for the devices you want to connect to. So the remote extender, you go, it's got a USB-A on this side. On the other side, it's got the LAN cable, the link uh, cable right here and there's a power input. So as I said, you're able to connect power to the local extender or the remote extender. So we add this guy to the GC8. So we now we got one connected here and the other one connected right there. Now what is more inside the box? So let me show you. So further inside the box, we got a power supply so we can connect that to either the remote or the low, uh, remote extender. We got one USB cable, which is a USB B to a USB A. And so you can use that here with the, the local uh, extender uh, right here. And we got a power cable right here. Okay, so this is the whole package coming along. And we can, of course, use the uh, fiber cable uh, coming along with the GC8 we can use that to connect it uh, to the uh, to the remote extender really nice this is the package which is now available from Poly so this whole kit Icon Ranger 2311 is now available from Poly and you can order that as an extension through the GC8 uh, to be able to integrate that in any room 
Now, hopefully this video was helpful and I'm already looking forward to the next video.